Hey guys, we heard that a few of you really need IFT support, so here's a tip on how to get it working with the new Bone Home app. As you probably know, we now support smart things, and that's what we will be using to connect your Bone to IFT. But don't worry, you don't need a smart things hub or to buy any of their products, just an account. Okay, so this is my Bone account. You can see my devices here. Let me switch to the smart things app. Tap on the plus icon, then device. Filter by brand and choose Bone Home. Then select Fan slash Vent. Here you can configure the location of your bond. I'll just leave it like it is. Tapping Next, you'll be taken to a login page. Just enter your Bone Home account details and tap on Login. Now let's get back to SmartThings by tapping Done. Okay, looks like all my devices are now available in SmartThings. Let's get back to the home screen and check it out. Ok, looks good. Now let's go to the IFT app. Tap on Get More. Here you can search for smart things, or just create an applet. This is what I'm going to do. For the this part, I could choose any of the service that IFT provides, but let's go with a simple button widget. Now on the that part, let's find smart things. I'll choose Switch On. Ok, now I need to connect it to my SmartThings account. Tapping on Add, it will take me to the login page for SmartThings. Here you need to sign in with the same Samsung or SmartThings account that you just added your bond to. So let's do that. On this authorization screen, you need to select the SmartThings location and which device you're going to expose to IFT. I'll just select a few of them and tap on Authorize. Now choose which of these exposed devices you want this applet to turn on and tap create action. That's it! Tapping finish will create the applet. Now you can add the if today widget. And use it to control your devices. Well I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'll see you in the next time.